All right, part two. I said I'd do a video when I got this uh, in here, so I just put it together to test it. So there's my uh, red purple wire, which is the 48 volt charging wire, and I'm gonna show where that goes back to. But uh, I've just got it laying in there. I had to get the uh, fuse box out of the way and the uh, this other, uh, I forget what they call that. At any rate, let me see if we can see it a little better. Basically, I just soldered that, uh, cut that wire out of this plug uh, right here on the bottom which is the red uh, purple, red violet, I think is the way it's labeled. I plugged it into uh, the red wire, which is uh, the red wire on the inside that I showed the other day. And then I just got it stuck in there. I don't have the other half of the plug, so I'm getting ready to put it in the plug. And then uh, I'm just tape that plug up, keep the moisture off of it, that kind of thing. Put all this back together, put the, uh, fuse box I had that apart because I was looking to see up under there if there was any burnt wires or any problem with that and once I get this terminal that one red wire connected back to the inside basically my plug just uh, runs through the side and bypasses the big plug so just one wire did it the other black wire is actually the ground wire I didn't have to uh, cut that and splice it and that wire goes in and it goes over here <coughs> to what you call your contactor which is right there and that's what uh, cuts the machine on and off the power uh, to your uh, controller and all that comes from there so you've got two wires and you can plainly see you've got one right here this red uh, with a violet stripe and the other one I believe is just red <coughs> and then you've got a plug here which you can it tells you if you're working on electrical this is the plug you just pull this apart that uh, kills all the power in the uh, machine obviously your batteries are still connected but that's the positive uh, connection for your battery I, I believe that's the positive side so it's like a uh, electrical solenoid uh, you get power place to that it kicks on and makes that connection and then you're ready to roll so that makes your high amperage uh, connection kind of like a starter solenoid on an old Ford or something like that it's, it's works basically the same way so there you go that's it and by the way that's where all the ground wires come to right there because everything uh, nothing grounds through the frame on this machine it all has to have a separate uh, ground wire ran so there's quite a few of them bunched up there so that's all it took to make it work, and uh, let's put it back together, and we'll be back on the road. Hopefully, I haven't checked to see if it will charge yet, because I haven't actually put that uh, in there and bolted it down. But uh, there's a good chance that uh, there's nothing wrong with that part. So that's all it took to get it going. So that's my video for today. Thank you.